Changing Grace fans, and God bless, and I hope you're having a blessed day today. We are going to talk about highly sensitive people, even our children, ourselves, and and just the world. And the thing is, is that we all have this, we just don't operate in it, or we don't have enough awareness and understanding of it. And this, sadly, you know, when you take in everybody's emotions, um, it's an overload. And your body cannot handle just so much. It's it's a supernatural body. And, you know, I mean, we're like, you never find machinery quite as uh, unique as we are, you know. Um, and if you're new to my channel, God bless you and welcome. Please leave a comment below. I love to engage with you guys. And anyway, let's get to this. Now, if you have these, if you have these symptoms, if you can relate to this, then you're a highly sensitive person. Um, my whole family is, uh, even my young little kids. And that's the thing is that um, our children, when they're born, they they are. In order to adapt to your environment, it ha you know, our children have to be, so they're more acceptable to things, so they can adapt to the environment. So I like listening to music, and it'll be in the background, and even our children have this. Our children um, are very acceptable to it, it's so that they can adapt to the environment, adapt to the, I mean, and this starts way before they're born. That's what's really kind of cool and neat about it. You know, once you know this, um, it's cool and it's neat. But if you don't have awareness, and awareness is half the battle won. So when you have this awareness, then you can, you can, you can take control and you can start giving back to your body. And then our actions is how our children learn. So um, when we have an emotion, our children are going to feel it. Or people especially our, ch our children will feel it. If you're an empath, let's see, let's get this down. If you, if you're highly sensitive to noise, um, for instance, when you're on the phone, if there's noise background, you know, you just, you get confused in your head and you can't, you, you can't deal with the noise and focus on what you need to focus on. Or when you're doing studies and stuff like that, there's a lot of noise in the background. Or, or, you know, something's going on, it's just like you throw your hands up because you, you, it just throws you off. Highly sensitive people go through that. Um, light. Uh, light is real sensitive. Even when I was a child, my parents would turn on the light and and it would just, and I would get an instant headache. But And I'm still that way. I'm more sensitive than ever to that. So um, that's number one. Number two, empaths, highly sensitive people. Empaths are the ones that actually work in that. So um, there is a difference. Highly sensitive people, once you have the awareness, they take actions and you can actually start about something, it's going to affect them too. And then, of course, when they feel that, they're going to react the same way. So if you're, you're, you're awakened and you remember who you used to be, because if you're constantly changing, then that's the, that's the really wonderful part about it. You have to keep growing. You have to keep progressing and changing. And um, when we're stagnant in that, you know, that's when all the depression and the remorse and the sorrows and the... It just takes a hold of you when you don't change. You know, and a lot of these suicides, you know, even our children are doing this suicides okay it's the thing is that they don't understand they don't understand what's going on so it's the only thing that they feel like they're gonna get any relief from okay um, highly sensitive people they they need more sleep than normal especially if there's a situation going on it's upsetting them uh, something that's underneath their skin or or even maybe possibly the thing is, is what's really kind of strange about all this is even if you're careful and you don't fight around them or yell or anything like that and you, you try to maintain the atmosphere that is healthy for them but you're still you, you got your emotion stuck in 
that, they're going to feel it and it confuses them even more because they, they, they don't see anything that connects with their emotion. So they'll, they'll get these emotions and they don't know. And um, in fact, uh, one of my granddaughters did this in a separation. Um, something was happening with their mother, you know, wherever it was. And, uh, and the child, my grandchild, just, just bust out crying. And, and I'm like, what are you crying about? What's going on, you know? And that's the thing is that when they get upset and yelling, yelling's number three. When you yell and somebody, when you're highly sensitive, you're just, it cr makes you cringe. So when you yell, especially if it's a young child, when you yell, you stung them. And, and then they just forget about what they were even doing that you yelled at them for. They just, they, they just it's an override in the brain, and the brain is protecting them. Okay, um, us highly sensitive people have to, have, when um, there's a situation going around, um, they're sleeping a lot. That's the thing, is that even when I was younger, even an adult, I'd sleep more than normal. And the thing is, is that I let things get underneath my skin. I let things bother me a lot. I worried, worried, worried a lot. And um, if you've seen me in my other videos, you, you know that I've um, overcome, by the grace of God, all these illnesses that simply start because we are so sensitive to other emotions and then we let it bother us and then we just we vent and we give more energy to to this negative thing and when you do that when you give too much energy to a negative thing it just sucks you dry it, it'll it'll wear you out you'll have anxiety you'll have um uh fatigue fatigue um if you operate in this, once you understand and you start giving to your body and you heal, you'll get fatigue just out of the blue. It's, um, and it's because of some connection that you have, like to a loved one or someone you may be talking to or, or someone that might be hiding their emotions. Um, you'll get very fatigued. So um, once you pay attention to like people that you're around or some someone that might show up or it's always after the fact that you realize that oh that is why I felt fatigued you know the people too end up with diabetes um, it, it's because diabetes doesn't just work with the sugar levels or, or what you eat okay um, highly sensitive diabetic nothing really seems to help too much but um, but my mind, you know, so if I'm upset or something's really bothering me and I'm under stress, and I, I may even think that I, I'm handling it well, um, that will affect your blood, blood sugar and your thing. So highly sensitive people um, are highly sensitive to even hunger. You might, you know, trigger when you're hungry, you know, if you know a loved one that's, you know, when they get hungry, they get a little cranky and all that. Um, that's a highly insensitive person. That's five is uncontrollable actions, emotions to to anger or even to beauty to something that you see it's so beautiful or or um, you know, I, I do the same thing. It's just like my daughter will be like, "Okay, okay, ma, okay," you know, and it's like I get so emotional about it and um the one thing is about this is that we can feel our loved ones and um so if it's unexplainable and you start feeling this and there's nothing around you whatsoever that that would cause you to do this then you're a highly sensitive person and um you know having this awareness is half the battle and then you can actually start operating in it and helping other people's and and, and praying, you know, that's what happens with me. I sometimes um, I'll be talking to someone, I could be just texting them, and they're having a rough time, and um, because I'm so close to them, and I may not even see them and for years, or I may not even have ever seen them face to face, okay, they, I'll start to tear, 
or um, I'll feel the emotion even with just the words that I'm I'm reading that they're telling me or even sometimes I'll feel that emotion right before they give me a call okay um, once I get in tune and, and, and connected with my friend clients and, and so like that I'm like passing this on to you so that it can continue to grow so um, I've definitely made it I, I love this song when it runs to my direction the whole world walks away but anyway God that is always there okay this this that I'm talking about truly is your spirit so when you get older and that's what we can start now you know parents grandparents out there caregivers out there whatever you can start now healing yourself and then it just it, it, it's a ripple effect it just goes and goes and goes and goes it's like it's truly amazing how it works so and that's what I do is I, I help give you guys skills so that you're better equipped so that you can hand them down because the thing is is that your children and your loved ones are the same way it's a memory cell it doesn't have to be explained we don't have to know everything it just is with that that spiritual connection and relationship then you can understand this stuff and the biggest warning is is that when we when we do this and we pass it on to our children they don't have to suffer suffer the same illnesses that we have or had or it maybe we have an illness right now and our parents had it you know and then we're just accepting it because oh well our parents got it you know that I'm or it's in the family then I'm acceptable to it no as long as you keep telling yourself that that is exactly what's going to happen so um, it is a thought and you got to realize that once once you realize that like you're a family member is suffering in a certain matter then you can help them by helping yourself. You know, when we heal, we all heal. I have that moment still going. I'll be there with you, you know. And the thing is, is that when I set up the preview for a certain time and day, you'll get that notification in your email. It's really kind of cool. And then you just hit that, you hit that um, reminder button. And then when, when the premiere comes on, it goes live. It goes live. So I'm there with you. And any questions, I can answer them as we go along, or or anything like that. It's really kind of quite. I can't. I'm just so excited. I get excited. I like kind of stutter, and or my tongue gets in the way. So I do apologize for that. If you know me, then yeah, you know. Okay, six, <laughs> six. I think we're on six. I'm really kind of rusty about doing the one, two, three. But, you know, I hope that you get something out of my videos. Share this with some loved ones. You know, if this is helping you and you're getting something out of it, I mean, that's the... We spend our time, our time is, is precious, you know. I spend my time and my studies to better serve you. And I want to make sure that you get something from my each of one of my videos. So, I mean, please leave a comment below. I have my information down below to where you can actually... Um, I want to make sure that you can get in touch with me. I know that I just found out that the internet, you know, kind of filters stuff. So, and I apologize for that, but I will always get back to you. So, number six, there is a, um, if you're really technical about people's words or, um, words in, in, it pushes, it, it pushes you to the, the break that everything's got to be perfect. Okay, so you're highly sensitive, so like just little things like words um, or uh, you're constantly correcting people, you know, because you're an empath and you want that, you want to make sure that you're helping them and then you just kind of help them a little too much and then you know how that goes. Like when someone speaks something, you, you might like, you, you understand what they're saying and you're with them when they say it and stuff. Um, I'll use this for example. I, I had a client that was talking about this. I can't really remember what it was, but she said she didn't realize till she drove off that was the person actually talking about she was wrong. And that was it. And you over, you over analyze what people are trying to say to you in a good positive way and then you get that habit of over analyzing it to make sure that you're not at fault 
okay if you find yourself doing that a lot it's it's you know especially when it's like the aftermath and you're analyzing it it's really good to analyze yourself but find balance like if some occasion happened or something happened you can see it and you're like you you know because the thing is is that if you're a highly insensitive person things will make you make you blow up it, and, and the thing is is that most of that is because you just let it pile up and pile up and pile up and then that that one thing triggered you and you blow up so highly sensitive people do that and that's the thing is that um, keeping the balance is a must because when you get stuck into that little emotional rut and it's not even you okay when you do that you end up you just manifest all this emotion that's caught up in your body. And I highly suggest, listen, if you feel like you're going to cry and you're tearing, yeah, it's okay depending on where you are. If you can hold it back, that's great. But if you know that there was a time that you were going to cry and then you're fine an hour later, okay, you need to address it as soon as you can. Um, when we cry, we, we create a chemical that heals that emotion instead of the emotion and us holding it in and the emotions of different things but the same emotion keep piling up and piling up when you do that that literally stops it, you know um, you're a highly sensitive person you might have an addiction because you're so wrapped up in the emotions that that's what you do you either drink or there's a certain favorite chemical that you like to take or you smoke it's 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 literally what you're doing is suppressing and suppressing and suppressing and that's why so many will blow up and they don't even remember what they did it's just like when you what I was just saying earlier when you yell for highly sensitive children if you're highly sensitive guarantee you your kids are so when you start addressing this with yourself then you can help them I pray and I hope that you got something from this and until next time please leave a comment below don't forget to subscribe hit that bell icon so that we can join on previews and